Today, we're going to talk about how to prepare for a job interview. And we will focus on four key questions. In this lesson, we're going to talk about two main points. What is going to happen before the interview? What is going to happen on the day of the interview? And then, four classic, classic questions. Okay, before the interview, before the interview, you should find everything you can about the company. You should anticipate the general questions they might ask you. You should prepare some questions to ask yourself. On the day of the interview, you should dress smartly and you should leave earlier than you need so that you are not late very bad if you arrive late on a job interview. Now, let's start with the first question you might be asked. Tell me something about yourself. At this point, you should summarize your CV or resume. Resume is the American English word for curriculum vitae. You should point out some relevant information about three points education and training, and your major subjects, meaning the subject uh, uh, that we call in Italian uh, materia di indirizzo, your work experience, if any, your experience as a volunteer, and your internships. Then you should also tell something about your personal skills and competences, including your hobbies and interests. If you forget to tell something about your hobbies and interests, then the interviewer will ask you this question. Could you tell me something about what interests you have outside work? At this point, you should focus on hobbies, sports and other interests. Uh, the interviewer wants to know if you can be a team leader and a fast decision maker if you will get the job done. And he understands this by looking at your hobbies and interests and what sports you play. What do you consider your greatest strengths is the third important question that you will be asked. You can use some of the adjectives that I list here. Three adjectives. We have adaptable, honest, hardworking, flexible, optimistic, persistent, assertive, sicuro di sé, friendly, outgoing, estroverso, reliable, affidabile, Persistent, motivated, committed, una persona che si impegna molto. And then able to learn from mistakes. Question number four. May I ask you what your greatest weakness is? Here, you can pick up something you have recently redressed. Migliorato. For example, you can say that your IT ability is not as advanced as you would like, but you are attending a course at the moment to improve your level of competence. You can also say that you tend to be impatient, talkative, nervous, but remember, you must end with a positive note. Okay, we end with some considerations about the questions that I've asked you. These questions can be called polite questions. They begin with um, these sentences. What do you consider? May I ask? Could you tell me? And what happens is that often the construction of the question is not with the inversion, but the verb is after the subject. So, for example, what is your greatest weakness? <laughs> if I add, may I ask? May I ask you what your greatest weakness is? Okay, we can finish 
by asking you a quest, some questions. What are the translations, the Italian translation of these words? Resume, reliable, talkative, polite, committed, outgoing, and assertive. 